Hi, so for those of you who followed my previous Kinevo SL Expert video, you'll be aware that I replaced these components that are shown on the screen that were poor quality um, to make the bike better. But at the time, I didn't have the budget to replace the slipping DT Swiss 370 hub, um, which in my view is, is not good enough quality for, for the cost or type of bike. Same with the front hub, you know, again, a Roval branded hub. Um, I've run carbon rims on my other bike, so I don't know if I just got used to them because I felt these, these rims felt flexy. So I thought, good time now to replace those wheels with some gorgeous new carbon rims and hubs as well. So these are the DT Swiss EXE 1501 Enduro rims uh, paired with a 240 hub. So the 240 hub has more points of engagement as a higher quality hub, so it shouldn't slip. I also used this opportunity to replace the Butcher T7s and T9s with my usual DHF and DHR combination. So by this point, I've replaced quite a few key components on this bike with carbon components and lighter components. So I wondered, with all these changes I've made, how close was my expert to the S-Works model, so the 13 Grand S-Works model? Yes, I know there's some key fundamental differences. The S-Works has got slightly better components, electronic gears, electronic dropper, and slightly better rear shock and the coatings on there. But looking at it from a weight point of view, so I've scoured the internet and found that this information to the S4, the same size as mine, weighs without pedals 18.7 kilos. So at this point, I thought, right, well, let's have a nose and see what I've managed to achieve. So I got my luggage scales and I lifted the bike up three times. Now, as mentioned, yes, there are differences in components between my expert and between the S Works. Um, but again, I'm just looking at purely at weight. Um, so I did this test and the results were bang on the same 18.7 kilos without the pedals. So for my next project, I actually plan on running this bike in mullet mode and seeing if that makes it even more interesting to ride. Thanks for watching my video. Take care.